college and binge drinking, two things often linked together. A study conducted by the NIH in 2012 showed 40.1% of traditional college students participated in binge drinking. So while pursuing a higher education, Chief Terry of the Marshall University Police Department says students need to learn Stress. when enough is enough. You know, we, we can tell you not to drink all day long, and that's not going to. You know, if you're going to drink, you're going to drink. But you need to know your limits. The recent death of a man at West Virginia University due to alcohol poisoning has hit home with some brothers of Alpha Tau Omega who say while it would be false to assume fraternity brothers don't drink together, their fraternity values and friendships keep each other out of trouble. They even employ a person they call the sober monitor. They do a good job. If they see somebody maybe drinking too much or drinking too fast, they pull them aside and let them know, you know. Take it, take a second off or whatever. Chief Terry says that while there have been no deaths due to alcohol in his time at Marshall, there have been a few close calls. But several times a year, we have to transport students uh, to the hospital for intoxication because they're above the safe BAC limit. To reach a blood alcohol content of 0 .08, it would take me two of these cups of beer in two hours. To reach a lethal BAC of 0.49, it would take eight and a half. For students to get an idea of what a good limit for them might be, they can visit dui.drivinglaws.org. Kayla Markham, MU Report.